Good morning, everyone. This is Neil from Returning to Basics. It's a beautiful day here in northern Arkansas. I am out looking at my things in the garden, and we're going to look at our new raspberry starts, look at our muscadine vines over here. So go with me. I've had muscadines for about 12 years now, if I can remember right. Look here at my plants. This is my oldest one right here. It's a cowart vine, and they are just beginning to leaf out this year. This one is about 12 years old. You notice how big the trunk is and the, the different cordons here on it. And I have quite a few other ones here. You'll notice that I have another cowart vine right here, right behind it. It's just about five years old, actually. It's not that old at all. And you notice my snakes. I use these snakes. I bought about I bought about thirty of them at one of the dollar stores, and I use them to keep the birds away from the muscadines whenever they are uh, ripe. This is a supreme vine right here. And man, it puts on some large, large sized fruit. Almost silver dollar size. Between half dollar and silver dollar size sometimes. Really big fruit. This is my youngest vine. I had one die here, and so this one is going on its second year right here. And it looks like it's going to be able to be trained to go out this year and go each way. I have a system it comes from my water here. It comes up and over and inside these pipes and it splits as you can see and it wise to the right and to the left. And it's a drip irrigation system that goes down these lower uh, strands of wire down on the bottom. And I turn it on whenever I do it it waters all of these vines and I have two, four, six, eight, ten inside here in the yard, in the garden. This is a an icing vine right here and it is nice and pretty and as you can tell it's beginning to leaf out good. You separate these these uh, cordons by hand breadth, breadth right here every year uh, so whenever you're cutting them back, and I pruned them back about two months ago in February. Sometimes I'll do it in March, but you separate them by at least a hand breadth, and that way you don't have a lot of uh, entanglement with vines and, and with all the new growth. And you also try and keep everything growing on the top. It really works out better that way. Here we train them up because I'm, I'm short. I'm not very uh, far until I run to the end of the row. So we train these up and they go up over our arches. And so that works pretty good except sometimes, like last year, we had so much fruit on this arch right here that the uh, arch was pulled down by the weight of all the fruit. And so, something else, but we really enjoy this. We get about a freezer, a stand-up freezer, upright freezer, full of muscadines every year from all of these plants. And it is really, really great. There's some old kale. That kale is left over from last year in our garden. And so, it's really done well. We're still picking it, still using it. It's going to seed, it looks like. But uh, that's worked out real well. We just planted some a row of potatoes right through here. And so we're really looking forward to that. We tried something different this year. We've always planted them in the ground. Last year it was so wet that all of our potatoes rotted. And so this year we actually just went in and put down hay and put them on top of the hay and put more hay on top of those and uh, we're going to see how that works. We've heard that that works really well. So we'll see. We'll come back to that. You see our tiger lilies. 
we have a full the full length of the garden here in a in a row of those tiger lilies and they get beautiful they're day lilies and uh each bloom lasts only one day but they start blooming and they're with us for quite a while you notice over the fence here i have some additional muscadine vines those are nobles and nobles are a much sweeter vine a much sweeter muscadine excuse me than the other ones uh, these are a bit uh, actually bitter they just aren't as sweet as we'd like for them to be and we found that uh, someone over in northwest Arkansas post winery the post vineyards they produce a muscadine juice that is just fantastic it has no sugar added we called them last year and asked them what muscadine are you using and they told us that they were using noble and so we switched well we didn't really switch let me turn the camera around here we didn't really switch to uh, nobles but actually what we did was I bought a couple of noble vines and we are going to replace all of these out here ultimately with nobles like we have over here on the other side out in the front yard and so as they grow we're going to uh, let them start producing and as they start producing we're going to start replacing vines and pulling them up and buying additional nobles and putting them in there because they just taste so much better and I have a friend down at uh, Conway Arkansas who works for the state of Arkansas and he has a lot of uh, vines and he too is uh, interested in doing something like that and his name is Steve Steve got me interested in canning and interested in juicing and Steve actually does a little bit of wine we don't we juice all of ours but uh, we're interested in something a little bit sweeter I'm bringing you over here to the other side of the yard to show you that uh, we have some raspberry starts here one of our neighbors across the way uh, th a couple of streets over shared on our subdivision Facebook page a couple of weeks ago she said uh, she had some raspberry starts if you, anyone wanted them and we went over and got four from her and we put these out we've never raised raspberries before but we're really hopeful we have a quite a number of blackberry vines wild blackberry vines on our property uh, up in the hills but they are so thorny and so raspberries are not and we're really looking forward to these we have four you can see right here here's one a second one right here a third and a fourth we have four different vines and we're really, really looking forward to those growing up and doing well. And so we're excited. Things are going well here on the place. It's a beautiful day. I wish you could be here with us. It's nice. It's in the 50s. It's been raining a lot, but it's settled down. Today is going to be a great day. We're really looking forward to what we're going to be doing. I've got a tree I'm going to have to cut because it has some damage and we really hate getting rid of trees uh, we've worked hard here we've been here 29 years on this place and we've really worked hard to put up get up all of our trees there was only one tree this old old oak here big beautiful oak it's over 14 feet around and it was the one tree in the subdivision when we moved here and now we're surrounded by trees after all these years but we've raised all of these and including all of these that you can see behind me all of these uh, cedars we put them up because we needed a windbreak the wind blew so hard out here that it would blow dust in the house it was terrible and we put those up and we've nurtured them and I really hate it but you can see my big magnolia tree out there in the corner. My niece 
gave us a, a seed pod off of that, and we planted it, and it grew, and we transplanted that tree, and it's been here for years, but it has some damage. It's been damaged by high winds. Tops have been broken out of it a couple of times, and it's got some some bad uh, parts in it. And so we're going to take it down. And instead, though, my attitude's kind of when you take down one tree, put out two. And so we're going to put out two fruit trees to take its place. We have a couple of plum trees that we're going to put out there and see how they do. So we'll make another video on that, and you'll be able to see that. Thanks for coming along with us. We really appreciate it. It's a beautiful day here. Hey, before you go, click the like button and go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so that whenever we post another video, you'll be notified and share this with a friend. We really appreciate you. Thanks again for coming along with us. God bless.